I'm glad you stopped it because my son ran downstairs real quick. Sorry, guys. So well, I'll give a little bit of lore on uh, Manasseh. She's the Naga serpent that uh, is wrapped around uh, Arhuman. Now, Arhuman was basically, uh, uh, he was he was Arhuman, but when Manasseh wrapped herself around him, he became the supreme Arhuman. And uh, that's when she woke all, all of his centers up and boom, he came to life. So it was not only Azjahi, but it was Manasseh. And a little bit more uh, lore about Manasseh, and people can work with Manasseh on an individual letter level. Manasseh was supposed to marry Shiva, and Shiva turned her down. And she was fucking pissed. That's why they don't, she doesn't like any of the celestial gods. She's like, fuck them all. Like all, all the, all the chthonic, uh, uh, the demons. She won't, she fucks with the demons because she was forsaken by Shiva. She, you know, he turned her down. Like, who are you yeah. to turn me down? I am the queen of the Nagas. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what so, else you got? I prepared. So I wanted this. What's that uh, book you got there? Let's see what that is. This is Tantatio Diabolus. This is by Marmadon Pontifus Maximus from the Cathedral of the Black Goat. Okay. Uh, he's he's extremely knowledgeable. I, I I love the brother. I'm gonna read a little bit to you guys. Very inspirational, orthodox, satanic uh, stuff. And I hope you guys don't mind me um, reading out of stuff because I wanted this to be more of like a educational thing. Like, fix your <laughs> camera a little bit because your your face is half cut off. Move it up more if you can. There, there you go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we lost you. I can't hear you. Can you say something? Check check at the bottom. There's a there's a, a sometimes they're pressed. The microphone you have to press the microphone. It's probably off. It should be white if it's black. It's, it's there you go. Still, it's still on. It's just my whatever. Sorry about that, guys. So I wanted this to be like a beginner friendly, but uh, for people that know their shit too to refresh. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Read us something. Go ahead. So this is called. This is describing Satan's king kingdom. The common misconception of hell is that it is a burning lake of fire created by Jehovah for the devil and his brood. This is not so. Satan is the creator and hell is a spiritual kingdom created by him. It is a place that the hand of Jehovah has not touched. It is a place that Jehovah cannot peer into. It is a place where the souls of humans know not the sorrows of the Christian torment. It is that place where we can truly be with our kind. It is a mirror of the universe itself as conceived by Satan. And after Jehovah, the Nazarene and all the souls of the Christian swine have been placed into affliction by Satan, all creation shall become hell. The very matter of hell is pure chaos, reshaped into the darkest fantasies of the satanic divinity. By its nature, hell knows not the turmoil of physical existence, nor do its denizens know of the terror of the heart and the desires of every, I'm sorry, the terror of expiration. It is that perfect place that lit, that that lives in the heart and the desires of every true Satanist. Those who are loyal and achieve their destiny in life shall join Satan's legion after death. The true will of the human to fulfill his destiny and hell is the destiny of much of us. Those who deny it will only know regret that they deceive themselves in life. The destiny of every Satanist is to join Satan in hell. Uh, very powerful. I agree. So we're going to go over 
the nine laws of demonic spirit contact for, you know, mm -hmm. beginning, whatnot, or just the rehash. Perfect. Always, always use respectful conjurations when attempting to contact demons. Always have the proper offerings, accoutrements prepared for any demon you attempt to contact. And you can stop me at any time to elaborate on mm -hmm. the that are being made. Never attempt to contact a demon that you know nothing about. Always have a specific question request for any demon you attempt to contact. Do not attempt to banish a demon at the end of your ritual. Do not form a protective circle when attempting to contact demons. If you attempt to contact a demon, do not show any fear whatsoever might manifest uh, or whatever might manifest before you. Mm -hmm. Always name a specific demon when attempting to make contact. Not all demonic manifestations are immediately uh, apparent. <clears throat> do you agree with... Um, I do. Some of that stuff are good. You know, for, this is for the beginners too. Like, I know, like, for me in the beginning, um, you know, coming from, from a background of Christianity and uh, even though I, I didn't give it, I wasn't really, I, I didn't follow that, but I was still had the fear installed in me. <laughs> but when I started to conjure uh, the demons, there's always that, that, Hollywood you know in the beginning like oh my god is there spirit demons gonna pop out and all that like <laughs> it's not guys it's not gonna happen um, sometimes sometimes but then again if there's a there if there is a, a low entity around you and wants to like fuck around with you it could it could fuck with you if you're afraid of what you're doing like you know I've had some people try to contact me and and like desperately say I'm doing everything I can to, to have some kind of done some dude this is not what this is for like they're not on display they're not these these things they're not you're not in the zoo trying to like get them to do things for you that's why they know what you're about if you're in this to get them to prove themselves to you like you're communicating with an ancient deity here you're coming to them for 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 growth and and for learning and yes and for material things a lot of us start off because all things you need things to happen in your life right but a lot of these people are really obnoxious and very arrogant and they think this is like hollywood shit where you can just do a sigil do an offering summon up a demon and like tell them what to do and stuff like that those are the people that don't get anything and and get fucking kicked in the ass like they'll you know have fun. Have fun. I don't work with those people. I usually right. say, look, this is not what this is about. Mm -mm. But if you, if you, if you, with everything that, that those steps were, it's perfect. Just. And you could also get blacklisted, guys. Like you could yeah. come with some retarded uh, requests and uh, just being disrespectful as fuck. And that demon will just blackball you from working with the entire hierarchy ever. They're going to fuck with you. And if they're bored, a lot of them, like, I mean, like, they already know what you're about before you even call them. Like, everything in this realm is, it's already happened. You know, we're living in, this is how I feel. We, we're living in the past. Everything's already happened in the future. Everything's already done. The earth is already done. Everything's done. <laughs> everything's done. We're just here at the present moment right now fixing things, realtering things, whatever, whatever it could be. But um, um, also depending on what your soul is and who you are as a spirit, right? I mean, it, it takes a certain person to come to this side. Not everybody comes to the, to the dark side. There, there's, you come to the dark side either because you are a dark entity and you know there's shit ain't working. There's lies, lies. Like I knew when I was young, like I'm surrounded by lies. Like it's fucking lies. I'd go to church and I, the energy of Jehovah made me sick. Like I thought my parents thought I was possessed because I fucking would get sick. And then when they would pray at nighttime to Jesus, I used to get um, attacked more by demons. Like, you know, but I know why now, you know, but um, and it wasn't like they were attacking me. I just would have them in my dreams. And like I was like they were like <laughs> trying to show me shit, you know. 
but um, it took time to remove that fear, the will to know to my desire to find out the truth about who I am and where I'm supposed to be took over that fear. And then um, watching some videos on YouTube really helped and watching people uh, do this shit. And I was like, okay, I've been doing stuff like this anyways. Okay, this so this is what, there is something like this that's legit, you know? I just rambled, sorry guys. No. <laughs> I just yeah. fucking rambled. Yeah, this is a training room. This is a machine for uh, the training of gods. And it is to separate whose people is is with who. Like, I'll put it to you like this, guys. Um, like Brother Mar Marbonon said, um, I desire to be in hell with Satan. Uh, I, I would be in hell if I was in heaven with Jehovah and his people. It's, um, I'll put it to you like this. It is only painful for a fish if he's out of water. And it's only painful for a human if he's underwater. And you have to look at it like that as far as spiritual realms. There are all types of limitless realms and universes and locas and and missions to, and stuff to do. Like, we are here honing our skills. Uh, we are being taught by um, our familiar spirits. What that means good familiars a lot of people don't grasp what that is that means that's your spiritual family mm -hmm. like they were with you before they've always been with you they are the cloth that you were cut from they are satan and lucifer they are literally your family mm -hmm. it's true because when i was young i know you guys probably heard me says it was lucifer that appeared to me in the clouds and i was not hallucinating but because I was a child and I, I always saw things when I was a child, like spirits. And, and I just, I used to see objects like foreign objects floating in my room at nighttime. I'd go into paralysis. I used to have this glowing being come and sit down beside me. Um, you know, I just had that ability to um, uh, hypersensitive. And it's funny because I was always attracted to all the witch kids. Like, the kids that played Ouija boards and I'd be, I'd be in their basement on the sleepover praying to Jesus. Cause I was so scared, but like, so like intrigued. I'm like, what? yeah. And it was funny because all the par <laughs> all the paranormal activity would happen in front of me. <laughs> oh, like, when you do the ghosts start getting oh, stirred the, up. The sleepovers, every, all the kids would be sleeping and I'd be so scared. I'm like, I feel so much shit here. I can't sleep. And I'd hear that knocking on the windows, the scratching. Yeah things touching me I'm like Jesus please <laughs> stop <laughs> and um and then they would wake up and I was like they're like did you not sleep I'm like nope haven't slept <laughs> <laughs> That's I, was awesome. like, I was you know seven eight nine and then um yeah hold on I gotta stop it guys hold on <laughs> 